Hey, what's up guys, Mudded HD here, and welcome to what is going to be the start of my brand new career mode series, and if you didn't see in the title of this video, it is going to be with Portsmouth FC. Now why Portsmouth? Yeah, there was no real reason. I just sort of saw it on my mentions and I was thinking they are a team that's been uh, in the BPL and oops uh, in the BPL and now are in League One. They have in real life been taken down to League Two now. They got relegated this season, uh, so it's going to be interesting. And I thought bringing uh, a team that I don't really know much about. I didn't know much about York City. Uh, but it, it was interesting to see how they've, from a team that they had some good players to where they are now would be interesting to find out and how we could uh, somehow get them back to where where they were before maybe. It depends how this series goes and my FIFA form is pretty off right now. But uh, hopefully it's going to be a great series. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you have anything against Portsmouth, fair, fair dues, um, but I do hope you guys enjoy it. But there is going to be a little twist on the end of this one. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, you see I've changed it down to world class now. There's no real point in me going on to legendary where my form is so bad. And I don't know how this is going to go because the, they could be very good on legendary and I'll just be uh, on the back foot already. So... That is where I'm going to be ha having it at the minute um, on world class. But uh, if the if the uh, games are too easy, then I'll bump it up to legendary and f fight the fierce uh, and defend very defensive uh, AI on uh, FIFA. But one of the big uh, twists is going to be the financial strictness. Now, Portsmouth for our team that's in financial difficulty. They've been in our administration liquidation. All that shizzle, and I wanted to do it that we're on a strict financial uh, basis. So I'm kind of doing this because not a lot of well, the money that would have been from sales of players, all the assets would have been sold, and you wouldn't have got much money for the transfer budget. And that's sort of how I'm going to play it here. I cannot change this once I go into the thing, so it's going to be a bit annoying. But I want to get it to realistic and make it a challenge. I like to have a challenge. And I think it's more entertaining when it's a challenge and we're aiming for something uh, that we want to achieve. I want to at least achieve, reach the BPL. And we'll see uh, from there whether we're going to take it on. Because they were once a BPL team and I want to bring them back. So I'm super excited. For this series, I haven't done a different career mode from uh, York City uh, and my journey to the top. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, but I have already had a look at the teams already. Wait a minute. Have I updated the teams? Ah. That's probably a good idea that I updated the teams. Uh, I, might, I might as well. It's not really going to be uh, much. But uh, while this is downloading the latest updates... I'm going to leave the video right here and I'll be back right in a minute when I've got past all the gay EA loading screens and saving buttons and stuff. So see you guys in a minute. So I've made it through the flipping gay EA loading screens that take forever when they shouldn't really take forever. I don't know what they're doing with their lives but... I've had a quick look at the team and it was different from when it was before because I've downloaded that latest squads. So I'm going to go ahead and look at it right now. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to look it in the squad report instead of looking it in the team management. I think it will be a lot easier for, to, for us to look at the stats uh, instead um, of uh, having it all over the place and you have to right trigger all, um, all the time. But in goal, we have this man here, definitely uh, someone that we need to possibly uh, get a replacement for. It's going to depend on uh, what sort of money we have or we're going to have to deal with it. But uh, alright stuff there. Let's see what we got going down here. Uh, we did before have a very fast right back, but now he's gone. Oh my days! We've been uh, shifting on these players. Uh, obviously, they have a they had a very big 
uh, January transfer window because a lot of players have gone from that were here before. But uh, Sajibi, not too good, not too fast. Uh, defensively, he's pretty bad as well. He's got an 83 aggression, so we can put some two footed tackles in the faces. Uh, slow again. Uh, 67 slam tackle, no, not too bad. That's not too bad. He's actually he's probably a, quite a good defender. Actually, he's got he's pretty pacey. A good overall defender as well. Adam Webster, a young defender. Alex Grant, another one. Roch, Ricardo Rocha, uh, not too good. How how is that guy 61 and then this guy is like 65 and he's got worse stats than him? Ah, EA logic, man. It really, really works. At left back, we've got this Dan Butler guy. Definitely going to have to look to upgrade that. The, up de um, not upgrade it, get someone in for that because he's not too fast. And look at them, he just, he's not oh, going forward, he's going to be awful. 75 crossing, man, that's just going to be very painful to watch. Uh, a very slow team, I can tell already. Uh, very, very slow. Even the wingers are so slow. They're worse than Danny Blair from flipping York City. Uh, Jed Wallace, not too shabby. Uh, Tenry Raccoon, he's on loan. And uh, something that I definitely noticed was that they loan in all their players pretty much. They own, loan in some of the big players uh, that they do have in the seam. Uh, 49 rated, Liam Walker, Colson. Uh, I remember, oh he's on loan from Stevenage, oh he's, he was from Blackpool wasn't he, uh, oh yeah, um, not too good, I mean wow, that is pretty bad, uh, definitely a job, we got to do a York City on this one at the minute guys, it looks pretty against us and that's pretty much it I guess, that is uh, the fastest, the fastest player we have as a striker, at least we have some glimmer of hope in this uh, life as a uh, Portsmouth manager but uh, what I'm gonna have to go and do I didn't really get a look at the flipping the the, the value of these players because obviously we're gonna have to let some players go and man that is even worse than York City I mean these some of these players are not even worth hardly anything man this is gonna be really uh, difficult to sort out uh, but I think I'm going to go away right now and I'm going to find the best possible 11 that I can and I'll come back in a second so be back in a bit. So guys I just had a look at the squad and it was pretty much the same I mean we've got a lot of youngsters obviously they brought a lot of people through the youth and it was pretty much it kept the same one thing that I would highlight was uh, two things actually would, was the formation that they were playing a 4 1 3 2 4 4 2 3 1 was the formation that we were playing they were playing I think and I've changed it to a 4 4 2 holding just keep it simple I, I want to play balls onto the wings even though we haven't got good wingers right now hopefully we're going to sort that out in the transfer window uh, but hopefully that is going to happen I mean we, we could always fail at that uh, also, they were playing one of the best centre backs, S. Cooper. Uh, if I could find out his first name, it, that would be brilliant. But they were playing him at left mid because they don't have a left mid that's of any quality. None at all. They don't have a single left mid. It's a year York City recap, basically, because they didn't have a left mid. And I'm back in the same situation where I'm having to play a right mid at left mid. Uh, I think they only had one winger uh, thingy. Uh, but basically, Portsmouth are rubbish. I've got to say it right now. But that's why I'm here. I'm here to help the squad. And I think right now, I think we should hit the the, the transfer the the transfers. So let's start off by looking to get rid of some players, some deadwood in the team. We've got to levy up this uh, this transfer budget that we've. Uh, oh no, we need to keep that guy. Uh, actually, no. no, 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 no. I'm gonna change my idea here. I'm gonna go ahead onto the market and uh, let's have a look. This this time, I'm sure it's gonna be the same. Uh, who we can get in on the free agents because basically it's gonna be one of the avenues of getting players in right now. We have no money. We are broke. We are left with nothing. 
and uh, it's pretty much the same. I mean, there's some new players in there, uh, but we need definitely uh, youth if we're going to go a long, t a long time. And there's Pedro Azagu. Hello, Azagu. How are you doing? Uh, right, left mids. What we got here? If we actually, if we just sort this out here and we go down, have a look. Are we going to find a left mid of any quality? Come on. Also, we don't have any substitute centre mids either. We have absolute tosh in that department as well. And there is no good left mids. Oh, my days. Have we got any good right mids that could play there at all? There's a 25-year-old. What does he look like? Not a lot of pace. 72 short pass. Not really that good. Not good enough really for, for the team, I would say. Who's this guy right here? 88 pace around that. Uh, not the most stamina in the world. Long shot, long pass. Oh my days. Oh man, they have not given me the best flipping freeze in the world. Man, that that, that sucks. Uh, but obviously we can loan people in as well. Uh, what's this guy? Kim Ki He. Oh, he's like the... Uh, what's his name? Saka, Saka who that I signed. Oh my god. What is his tackling like? Not too shabby. I mean, we need we need another centre back in because most of them are very slow, and we have quite a few centre backs. And I'm thinking of getting a rid of rid of the couple, maybe send one out on loan that are young. Uh, but I want to bring in a centre back, uh, a left mid definitely, uh, a centre mid, a left back. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Th those are the pri priorities right now. I would say they are definitely places that we need to sort out right now uh, in the team. So I think I'm going to go ahead and shortlist him right now. I think he was a player that uh, MGH was looking at in his uh, career mode. Uh, so left backs, what do we got on here? Um... What have we got? A 65 rate is Zinev. Uh, not too pacey, but that doesn't really matter. Is he got good tackling? No, not interested. He's got to at least have yellow if he's flipping 65 rated. Uh, 24 Bajero. Oh my god, 90 stamina. Wow, he, is, he has been doing the push ups and the sit ups. Can play a numerous amount of positions. Uh. This is really difficult for me right now because I've only just got this uh, free free list, and I, I I really need to just like sit down and have a look at what I, I'm gonna do because I'm definitely shocked at how bad the team looks like right now and where we got to get it to because this is League One, it is the league below Championship, and it's gonna be kind of difficult to find out whether we're gonna do this or not. Uh, but it is going to be difficult. He's not too bad. Uh, but we're going to have a look who we got on the loans list. These do update, I believe. Uh, because really 400k in the transfer budget is not a lot of money to sort out. Uh, hopefully we can find some players that we can actually afford on the wage. Actually, if I go and sort that out. Uh, it will definitely save me some time. I won't really pay 2.5k for someone uh, on loan. But uh, if there's anyone... Of reasonable wage. Oh, Benzia's in there. Ooh, that's pretty good. He's not as fast as he is before, but look at that. An 80 dribble and 80 curve. That is very, very nice. What have we got? Have we got any essentials that we need? Have we got any players that are going to work in the team? That's most uh, more important as well. Uh, CDM, CDMs. What have we got? CMs, a lot of CMs. What's that? Mini. Whoa! Look at his hair, man. Oh my days! That is a sweet do. That is awesome. I wish I had hair like that. That is so cool. It's like red. It's like the fashion of red has just came in, and he's just been like, "Oh, I know. Today I'm gonna I'm gonna dye my afro red." That's just the way I roll. Damn, that was pretty awesome. Uh, was that a Aston Villa player there? Yeah, it was. Um, 
It's so difficult. I've been thrown in on the deep end. I'm not totally sure what I'm looking at. I'm going to leave that to the next episode. I'm